there are three aspects of the self. They are the physical or the tangible aspect, the intellectual and conscious aspect, and the emotional and intuitive aspect. Abraham Maslow He is an American psychologist who created the hierarchy of needs and the motivation model. He is a humanistic psychologist who believes that every individual has the potential to reach the level of self-actualization. So the question is, what is the Maslow's hierarchy of needs? First, we have to understand the need of our body. According to Abraham Maslow, there are seven basic needs or survival of the body. Air, food, drink, shelter, clothing, warmth, sex, sleep. But in his hierarchy of needs, those seven basic needs were described the human quest for happiness. That is the Maslow's pyramid. Those are the primary needs of our physical body. If these needs do not satisfy the body, the body may not function well. He called this need as the biological and physiological need. The safety need. The self needs to be in control of him or herself. Hence, he or she needs protection, order, and predictability. This can only be experienced through the family and society. For example, medical care, police, school, business, etc. Love and belongingness needs. It involves feelings of belongingness. The need for interpersonal relationships motivates behavior. For example, trust, acceptance, forgiveness, give and take relationship, etc. Those examples can easily be fulfilled if the self is affiliating his or herself to the community or a certain society. There are two categories in his fourth level, the esteem need, esteem for oneself and desire for respect from others. Lastly, the highest level of Maslow's needs, the self-actualization need. Maslow describes this as what a man can be, he must be. In other words, the self has the desire to accomplish everything as he can. For example, our goal to become what one can. But, in the 1960s and 70s, the hierarchy of needs was remodeled because there is something more that needs to develop the self, that is, the growth development, to complete those levels in which they remodeled up to eight stages and revised the title into Maslow's motivation model. Therefore, that model divided into two, the deficiency needs and the growth needs. The growth needs are about actualization of the self, while the deficiency needs must be first fulfilled before the self 
be actualized. The self-actualization according to Maslow, the self-actualization's growth refers to the need for personal growth and the self-discovery throughout his entire life. In other words, the self is not static and is always becoming, meaning it is not perfect in itself but a life leading towards its perfection. Since each individual are unique, each has its own perspective of his physical appearance. But here, one's body moves because it fulfills the levels of both physiological and basic needs. Thus, before the self achieves the last level of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the self must have the feeling of accomplishment so that the self must have the potential to create something out of himself or herself.